Google Cloud, GCP, create a virtual private cloud using Cloud Shell. Uh, here is the scenario. This is the important part. Your team lead, Chloe, has assigned you the task of conducting research to explore the security of the configuration settings of the new cloud network setup. In order to do this, you will need to perform your testing on a new test environment that replicates the newly architect cloud network. You will begin by using Cloud Shell to create a test virtual private cloud and subnets. Here's how you will do this task. First, you will create a network. Next, you will create a subnet within the network. Then you will view the created networks. Finally, you will list all subnets created within the networks. Set up and let's go to the first task. I'm going to start this log. <laughs> okay. Okay, I'm going to open this tab in a new window. Mm, okay, here and paste here. Next. And I copy the password here. Next. Agree, agree, and continue. Okay. Task one create a network. A network forms the basic of the basis of communication between devices. You will need to first create a network for your test environment before you can begin testing security functionality, experimenting with configurations, or building a proof of concept for security tools in your role as Symbol Bank. Here you will use software-defined networking to easily set up a network in Google Cloud. Okay. There are two types of virtual private cloud networks you can choose to create depending on your subnet requirements. You can choose to create an auto mode or a custom mode of the virtual private cloud network. An auto mode VPC automatically creates a subnet in each region for your wife. A custom mode virtual private cloud provides you with the control to manually create subnets. Each new network that you create must have a unique name within the same project. You can create out for additional networks in project. In this task, you will create an initial custom mod virtual private cloud network. Copy the following command into the cloud shell terminal. Note when you copy the command and place it in the cloud shell terminal, be sure to note that each common option begins with Double dash need to be on its own line and that entering the information correctly will result in having to fix the network. Okay. <clears throat> I copy this command and I put here in this part. This is the shell of the GCP. Okay, and I paste this comment. Authorize. Okay. 
Okay, let's go to view the next step. This command create a custom mode network called LabNet Presenter. Although you don't need to memorize this command, the following breaks it down to help you a better understanding of the syntax. The cloud invoke the cloud SDK cloud command the tool. Compute is one of the groups available in cloud. It lets you create and configure compute engine resource and form part of the nest hierarchy of common groups. Network is a subgroup of compute with its own specialized command. It lets you list, create, and delete compute engine networks. Create is the action to be executed on this group. LabNet is the name of the network you are creating. And subnet mode custom is the flag that specifies the type of VPC you are creating in this system is custom. The output shows list the LabNet network you create. In this form, let's go to check. Okay. Name LabNet subnet mode custom BGP routing mode regional IPv4 range. Get away IPv4 instance on this network will not be reachable until firewall rules are created. As an example, you can allow all internal traffic between inter instance as well as security shell, RDF, RDP, and ICMP by running. <coughs> okay. Uh, let's go to check the progress task to create a subnet in this task you will create a subnet within the newly created custom mode bpc network configuring subnet is a network management best practice for test environments subnet allow you to split your bpc into logical segments to improve the organization of cloud resources to improve network performance and to improve security when you create a subnet, its name must be unique in that project, for that region, even across networks. The same name can appear twice in a project as long as each one is in a different region. Additionally, each subnet must have a primary IP range, address range, which must be unique within the same regional in the project. Copy the following command into the cloud shell terminal. <coughs> okay. Okay. This command create a subnet called labnet sub. Okay. Gcloud compute network subnet create labnet sub. Okay. Network labnet region us s one and this is the range or IPs. Name LabNet sub region as well as one LabNet. This is a range or IPs. Okay, IP4. Okay. View networks. In this task, you will list the available network to ensure that you have successfully created them. Copy the following commands into the cloud shell terminal. Gcloud compute network and list. Okay, Gcloud compute network list. And press enter. Name default subnet mode auto BGP routing mode regional. Okay. <coughs> okay. I have two networks. The first is default and the next is LabNet. Uh, the output show list default and LabNet networks. The default network was created when the project was created. The LabNet network was created by the gcloud command you run early. What is the subnet mode of the LabNet network you create? and list subnets in this task you will list all subnets within the network of your project <clears throat> you can 
Either list all subnets in all networks in your project, or you can show only the subnets for a particular network or region. Auditing subnets ensure that the network is properly secure and help identify any misconfiguration or potential security vulnerabilities in your VPC, such as subnets that might be unintentional exposed to the public internet. Copy the following command into the cloud shell terminal gcloud compute network subnet list network lab labnet. Okay. Name labnet2, region us est1, network labnet. Uh, this is the range or IP addresses. And okay, what is the name of the subnet in the labnet network? Labnet sub. Great work by completing this lab activity. You now have hands-on experience in setting up a test VPC network and subnet. This is the first step of creating a test environment, which will help you to eventually secure the production environment that will need to protect company data. Thereafter, you were able to confirm the network and subnet successful creation. Through observing the network and needs of networks in this testing environment, you can gather significant data for research. This data is highly beneficial when configuring creating security plans for the production environment. Okay, before you end the lab, make sure you are satisfied that you complete all the tasks. When you are ready, click and lab and then click submit. Ending the lab will remove your access to the lab environment and you won't be able to access the work you are complete it again. And this is all the license of Google Chrome. Okay, let's go to put some commands in this terminal like ls. Okay, ls l. Okay. Gcloud Compute Network Laser Nest. Okay. Gcloud Compute Network Subnet Create Lab Net Sub. This is the first command we put in the terminal. Gcloud Compute Network. Uh, Gcloud Compute Networks Create Lab Net Subnet Mode Custom. The next step was gcloud compute network subnet create labnet sub and gcloud compute network list. Okay, and gcloud compute network subnet list networks labnet. Okay.